Hello and welcome to the Beer Search Party. This is Sean Inman with you. And today we are reviewing Old Grogham, an Imperial India Pale Ale from Nation Brewery. This is the second of two video reviews. Uh, the first one obviously was the Nation Brewery Cascadian Dark, Kuda. And we are heading into a slightly different realm of India Pale Ale with the Imperial. Grogham, uh, I looked it up on the old interwebs, and Grogham is the lengthened version of uh, Grog, which we more normally see. Grogham is diluted rum, obviously something you would get on a boat like the one that's on the label. Um, sometimes with citrus, sometimes with cane sugar. And so that's the link that you have, Grogham being on a boat, India Pale Ales being something that was often boated. So there's your link for that label. Now, uh, I really enjoyed the first beer that I had, the uh, Cuda, that Cascadian Dark, had a really nice balance. So let's see how they do with this Imperial India Pale Ale. Okay, yeah, that's got a big, just dank, weedy, sort of, and not wheaty, but weedy as in weeds in your garden, sort of aroma going on. Just smells big. I'm even getting a little bit of uh, that alcoholy sort of uh, smell. Yeah, that's a big one. That's uh, that's heavy with bitterness right up front. I mean, just right in the first part of the tongue, first part of the mouth. Just a lot of hops. Um, like I said, the danky, the weedy, the dark greenish sort of. I'm trying to avoid saying a certain word. Um, but then from the sides of the mouth comes this caramel creme brulee-ish sort of taste to sort of balance things out. It tastes really big. Let me check what the uh, ABV on this one is as I fastly turn this around. 8.5. Well, that's shocking. I would have thought that was uh, a little higher actually. But um, it's got a nice big caramely creme brulee-ish sort of thing going on that really wipes the tongue from the uh, hot bitterness uh, that you initially get. I'm getting a little bit of alcohol to it, but uh, considering that's 8.5, I shouldn't get a big amount of that, and then that's sort of what's coming through. Yeah, that's got a good balance to it. I mean, it's it hits you heavy, it is very dank, it's, it's big, um, it would scare off quite a few people who are new to craft beer, but it does round off really nicely in the mouth so that you get this really balanced sort of taste. Um, that was the same comment I had on their, the Cascadian Dark one, the Cuda, because it had that same sort of uh, thing going on where you thought it was going to go one way, but then it, the taste just rounded off like they just said, okay, well, this is how we put all these pieces together. So that's a really uh, nice tasting Imperial India Pale Ale. I mean, it's got all the hallmarks of it. I mean, that's there are some IPAs and pales and others of the IPA category that you go, hmm, is that really a pale or is that more an XPA? Or is some people's pale is a double IPA? But this seems to hit what I consider the Imperial category of IPA to be. Bigger, uh, stronger, um, not soft at all, just a big, juicy sort of hit of hops, but also uh, well balanced. So that's what I get here. So I have to give a thumbs up to uh, a second very nicely done Nation Brewery beer. So there you go. This is Sean Inman with you, the Beer Search Party. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want any other LA beer news or other things that catch my beer fancy, you can go to beersearchparty.com and learn more. Cheers!